I have a great news for you. You don't need to spend thousands of euros on a new camera just to be a great photographer. From my own experience, I know that the aesthetics of the final photography depend on much more than just the camera body. As you will learn over time, the camera body is not the only thing that determines the quality of your final photo. Other factors include the lens you use, composition, the scene itself, and of course, photo editing. But which camera should you choose to start with? I believe this is a question many beginner creators ask and I asked myself the same question when I started with photography five years ago. Eventually in 2018 I decided on the Canon 200D which was considered one of the best cameras for beginners. Looking back I understand why. Because it offered everything that both beginner and advanced photographers need. I was more than satisfied with this camera. I personally shot photos and videos with a Canon 200D for several years and it suited me even when I was a much more advanced photographer and if I had to choose again I would definitely go for this model one more time. So why did I choose this kind of camera? First of all it had a user-friendly interface and lacked all the fancy functions that beginners don't actually use. It naturally included semi-automatic modes and a manual mode where you can set the ISO value, shutter speed and aperture. I also found the weight, size and ergonomics important and the advantage of this model was its decent design and battery life. Of course, the price played a big role. I bought this camera in 2018 and at the time it cost me around 750 euros. All of these factors led to my decision to get this model. When I started with the Canon 200D, the biggest challenge for me was understanding the relationship between ISO, aperture and shutter speed and how these parameters interact and affect different scenes you will photograph. With this camera I tried a wide variety of genres. I shot events, portraits, landscape, animals, architecture, wedding and many more. You can see from these photos how I improved over the years and experimented with different genres and conditions. And rather than investing in a new body, I invested more in lenses and the time I spent practicing. So don't be influenced by marketing campaigns trying to convince you that you need a camera packed with features like 120 frames per second, 8K video and 45 megapixel sensor. Because in most cases, as a beginner, you probably won't use all of these features. What you will need to understand are the basic functions of the camera itself everything else can be distracting. Additionally, you might realize over the time that your beginner DSLR camera contains all of the functions of a mirrorless camera worth several thousand euros. As a beginner photographer, you will probably be searching for your theme and genre and you will update your gear accordingly. A wedding photographer has different equipment needs than a sport photographer or someone who focuses on landscape photography. In a nutshell, you don't need to spend thousands of euros on an expensive camera to achieve great results. Beginner photographers often look for complex features and high resolution, but what you really need is simplicity and clarity. Models like the Canon 200D offered all of the basic functions you need to learn the basic of photography and gradually improve. The key is to understand that the quality of your photos depends on much more than just the technical equipment. Remember that most important thing is your creativity, understanding composition and the ability to use light and shadow. It doesn't actually matter if you shoot with a budget model or an expensive mirrorless camera. What matters is how you can use the tools you have at your disposal. Learn to master your camera, experiment with different genres and conditions and most importantly enjoy photography. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with other beginner photographers. Tschüss!